The left hand side of the given equation is a polynomial of fourth degree with real coefficients. It therefore follows that any complex root of this equation will appear as complex conjugates. Therefore, if x is equal to 2 plus i times root 3 is given to be a root of this equation, then its complex conjugate 2 minus i times root 3 will also be a root. This implies that x minus in brackets 2 plus i root 3 is a factor of x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35. And x minus in brackets 2 minus i times root 3 is also a factor of x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35. And it therefore follows that x minus in brackets 2 plus i root 3 multiplied by x minus in brackets 2 minus i root 3 is a factor of x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35. x minus 2 plus i root 3 times x minus 2 minus i root 3 can be written as x minus 2 minus i root 3 multiplied by x minus 2 plus i root 3. And this is equal to x minus 2 whole square minus i root 3 whole square. And this is equal to x minus 2 whole square plus 3 which is equal to x square minus 4x plus 7. Now let the other factor of x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 be x square plus alpha x plus beta. Therefore, x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 can be written as x square minus 4x plus 7 multiplied by x square plus alpha x plus beta. The right hand side is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus alpha times x cube plus beta times x square minus 4 times x cube minus 4 alpha times x square minus 4 beta times x plus 7 x square plus 7 alpha times x plus 7 beta. And this is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus alpha minus 4 times x cube plus beta minus 4 alpha plus 7 times x square plus 7 alpha minus 4 beta times x plus 7 beta. Now comparing the coefficients of like terms across the left hand side and the right hand side, we have alpha minus 4 is equal to 0, which implies that alpha is equal to 4. We also have beta minus 4 alpha plus 7 is equal to minus 4 and using the value of alpha derived above, we get beta is equal to 4 alpha minus 11 which is equal to 5. Equating the coefficients of x on both sides, we get 7 alpha minus 4 beta is equal to 8. And using the values of alpha and beta derived above, the left hand side is equal to 7 times 4 minus 4 times 5, which is equal to 8, which is equal to the right hand side. Therefore, this equation is verified. And finally, equating the constant terms across the left hand side and the right hand side, we get 7 beta is equal to 35. 
and substituting the value of beta obtained above, we find that the left hand side is equal to 35 which is equal to the right hand side and therefore this equation is also verified. Using these values of alpha and beta, x square plus alpha x plus beta is equal to x square plus 4x plus 5 is also a factor of x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35. Therefore, the given equation x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 8x plus 35 is equal to 0 can be written as x minus in brackets 2 plus i root 3 multiplied by x minus in brackets 2 minus i root 3 multiplied by x square plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, the roots of this equation are 2 plus i root 3, 2 minus i root 3 and the other two roots are minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 20 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 4 plus minus 2i divided by 2 which is equal to minus 2 plus minus i. Therefore, the four roots of the given equation are 2 plus minus i root 3 and minus 2 plus minus i. And this is the required answer.